I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on understanding strategies to solve work problems. Now, work and time, we have many questions based on this. Here is one of the most difficult one, where three persons are working and all three are working for different times. So they are leaving in between. A, B and C can complete a job in 24, 36 and 48 days respectively. They started together, but C left after four days. A left three days before completing the job. Find the number of days in which the job was completed. So let that be X. So let the number of days be X, right? So we'll use that. Now, We'll actually use two different methods. So I'll first teach you method one. Method one is actually my preferred method where we find the rate of work done, right? Now this is an important concept. We are saying here that total time taken by each one of them is this. So. So as far as A, B, and C, let's try to understand. A, B, C is concerned. Time taken is how much? So time taken for each is 24, 36, and 48, right? So this time is in days. So the rate is what? Rate means how much of the job they will do in one day. So in one day, they will do 124. 1 over 36 and 1 over 48 of the whole job, right? So here, the work done is a complete job, right? which is one whole. Now, it says C left after four days. That means C only worked for four days, right? So, so work done how much? So work contribution, let's say. So as far as C is concerned, so let me highlight with ink and then we'll work with it. C left after four days. That means C only worked for four days. So C's contribution is four out of 48. Is that clear to you? All right. Now, second. A left three days before completion of the job, right? Or before completing the job. Three days less than X, right? So A worked for x minus 3 and that is over 24 correct and as far as b is concerned b worked for all the x days right so we have x over 36 do you see how we get our equation so all these three will be added that is their contribution to complete one job does it make sense to you so think we are given the days as soon as we read C left after four days means worked for four days, four out of 48. Three days before A left, X minus three over 24 plus X over 36 is one. So within few seconds, you should be in a position to get this equation. Now, second question now is how to solve this fractions. So to fractions, we have to find LCM, right? That helps to get rid of denominator. Is that clear? So that is the strategy. Now, how do we find the LCM? This is next critical step, or which these days is very difficult. Okay, so LCM, this is our technique, which we used all the time. We are working on these numbers, which are 24, 36, and 48. Well, 12 can divide into them. And now 2 is a common factor. So we can further take out 2, which is common. So we get our LCM as equal to 12 times 2 times 3 times 2, right? 2 times 3 is 6, times 2 is 12, 12 times 12 is 144, clear? So we get our LCM, which is 144. That means if I multiply all of them by 144, 
will get rid of fractions that is the whole concept right okay so let's work on it so so this is our second column right so we'll actually take three columns to do it now so when we multiply by 144 look like this when i do 144 over 24 right and we are multiplying this by x minus 3 all this i'm only showing you how to work right mentally 36 x plus 4 we could have simplified this actually times 144 let me do now 48 is it clear to you and everything is equal to 1 so even this division from this statement is very simple 24 is 12 times 2 what left is 6 do you see that 6 is left 24 is 12 times 2 so in 144 24 times 6 is 144 right so so looking into this we have to multiply this by 6 so we get 6x minus 18 plus 36 times what is 144 now 12 times 3 is 36 4 is left do you see that so it is 4x plus 48 is 12 times 4 3 is left so it is 3 times 4 which is 12 which is equal to 1 is that clear to you so that is how we one sorry 144 144 we have to multiply this also by 144 right so so we get our equation like this now 6x plus 4x is 10x minus 18 plus 12 is minus 6 which is 144 and so we have 10x equals to 144 plus 6 right so let me write down here we have 10x equals to 150 so x is equals to 150 over 10 so we get x equals to 15 is that clear so option 15 is the correct option do you understand all these steps now it doesn't really take that long once you know that these are the times for each person you know the denominators then as soon as you read c left after four days we get four over 48 three days before completion of the job a left so that means a worked for three days less b worked all the while we get our equation finding lowest common multiple multiplying means 144 we have to multiply by so this is six times this is four times uh, and this is three times and so we multiply each by three times four is 12 right and then we get four times x is 4x and three times six times we get our number and when we can solve this equation and find the value of x is that clear to you All right so this becomes our method number one now in the next page let's take method number two which is kind of unit right so we'll define units and then work it out so now let's try to understand method two which involves units right so the question here is a b c complete the job in 24 36 and 48 days respectively we don't know how many are the total number of days so what we do here is we find a multiplier lowest common multiple for these days so we are given that a b and c can complete a job in 24 36 and 48 days so we again find the LCM so LCM for us is 144 correct so so we say the LCM here is 144 so let me write like this so lowest common multiple was calculated as 144 that means you can divide all these numbers into 144 so that means if total job is for 144 total work is 144 units right so how much units per day a person is doing that is what is important to understand so we divide 144 by 24 correct so when you divide 120 uh, 144 
by 24 we eliminate steps here so 144 divided by 24 here you will do 144 divided by 36 and here you'll do 144 divided by 48 right so 144 is 12 times 12 is 144 so this will become 6 do you see that right now similarly this goes four times and this goes three times this is half of that so three times so that really means a is performing six units per day b is performing four units per day and c is contributing three units per day total total if they work together they give you 13 units per day correct now let's look into the question it says they started the work together, but C left after four days. That means for four days, they worked together, right? So, so they worked together for four days, clear? So together is 13 units. That means 13 units and four days, which is 52. So 52 units have been consumed out of 144, correct? So balance left. 144 minus 52 right so we get 2 here and that gives you 9 correct so we get 92 units left now a left three days before completion of the job that means for three days b worked alone so three days b alone so B is contributing four units, right? So that means four units for three days. That means 12. So now from this left, 92 will take away the 12. What are we left with? 80 left. So that means find the, in between A and B work together, right? So in between A and B work together. That means 10 units per day. We have to do 80 units, so we'll divide by 10, so we get 8 days. So they work together for 8 days. So now you can find total number of days, right? So total days will be how much? 4 days they work, everyone work together, 8 days B and C work together and for 3 days alone b worked and when you add them up you get 15 days and you get 15 as your answer do you understand this method so this method is using the units both are very popular methods both can be used in some situations and some persons may prefer one method over the other however these are two standard ways of doing it they don't really take much time so i like you to Redo the question yourself, work out your timings so that if this is there a multiple choice question, you could do it easily. I hope that helps. Feel free to write a comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.